Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about abrasive wear in detail. What is abrasive wear? When the wear is caused by hard particles or sharp tips on a surface, such wear is called abrasive wear. The loss of material is in this case dominated by chip formation or brittle fracture or fatigue. As we see in the picture, the abrasive or the grooving particles can be a sand particle or a chips from the material that have become hard through the deformation of hardening or by oxidation. Now let us understand the modes of abrasive wear. The way the grids pass over the own surface determines the nature of abrasive wear. There are two types that is two body abrasive wear and three body abrasive wear. The first one two body abrasive wear. In case of two body abrasive wear, it is exemplified by the action of sandpaper on a surface. That is, the hard asperities or rigidly held grit passes over the surfaces like a cutting tool. This type takes place when the hard particles or a grit eliminate the material from the opposing surface. This can be best described by thinking of a material being displaced or removed through a ploughing or cutting operation. In the figure 2, we can see the two body abrasive wear. In this, we can see the body 1 and the body 2 which are in contact where the body 1 is a grid and the body 2 is a substrate. And the movement of the body 1 in the counterpart of the body 2 is making a linear groove which is nothing but the abrasive wear. The next mode is three body abrasive wear. In this, it occurs when the particles are unconstrained and can slide down and roll on a surface. The environment of contact defines whether the classification of a wear is a closed or an open type. An open wear environment takes place when the surfaces are adequately displaced to become free of each other. Three body abrasive wear is 10 times slower than two body abrasive wear since it has to compete with the other mechanisms such as adhesive wear. In this figure, we can see the three body abrasive wear where body 1 and body 2 are separated by a distance and the body 3 is a grid which is forming the wear by rolling and sliding action. What are the mechanisms of abrasive wear? The first one is cutting. This is the first mechanism which represents the classic model where a sharp grit or a hard asperity cuts the softer surface. The material which is cut is removed as wear debris and this is shown in the figure A. The second one is fracture. The second mechanism which is caused when the abraded material is brittle, example ceramic, the fracture of the own surface may occur. In this instance, wear debris is the result of crack convergence which is shown in the figure B. The third mechanism is fatigue. When a ductile material is abraded by a blunt grit, then cutting is unlikely and the worn surface is repeatedly deformed. In this case, wear debris is the result of metal fatigue. And the fourth one is grain pullout. The last mechanism which represents the grain detachment or grain pullout. This mechanism applies mainly to ceramics where the boundary between grains is likely or relatively weak. In this mechanism, the entire grain is lost as wear debris and the fatigue and the grain pullout is shown in the figure C and D. These are the references for the information which has been used in these slides and thank you for watching this video. To get more updates on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages that is on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also, visit our website on www.tribonet.org.